Hey people, um, I recorded a whole like eight minute video and got into DaVinci Resolve and realized that the sound wasn't working. Uh, I think one of my cables for my shotgun mic stopped, uh, broke. So I have, you know, attached a DJI mic to my top. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be good enough. Um, so really, this video is just so that you can get to know who I am, what I'm about. Uh, I sort of started YouTube over the last few months, um, not done any talking to camera videos, so I wanted to just get myself out there. Um, I am a filmmaker from the UK, Cardiff, South Wales. Uh, I absolutely love filmmaking, cameras. I, I, I don't know what it is, I'm obsessed and I, I want to make films. Um, you know, I shoot music videos, I've shot fashion stuff. I've worked in TV and film for like three years. Uh, had some pretty cool opportunities. Done some like director shadowing on a big production. Um, so, so, you know, worked as an AD, been in the art department and also locations as well. Um, and this year I did like, uh, a really difficult job um, and I was like I need to be doing what I really like I mean I do you know there's a there's a payoff to working in TV and film and that is like you know you're working you're climbing the ladder and all that but like you're doing 70 hour weeks sometimes and like uh, uh, once I was working about four hours away from where I live and I was driving home and uh, on the Friday back to Cardiff from Liverpool and I had to pull over like multiple times in service stations to sleep because I was just so exhausted and it was dangerous and I just and I, I, I decided you, you know that's no good um, like you're not going to be able to do anything if you you know have a really bad accident and something really unfortunate happens um, but I just want to, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm. So I decided I'm, 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 I'm making my own ladder. You know, I really hate the climb the ladder mentality that is sort of, you know, in the industry. Um, pick your lane, choose your lane. That is what you have to do. Uh, this is the right way. Like, I know first ACs were literally like waiting for their DOP in their like little click to die. <laughs> because they've been doing it for 10, 15 years. You know, they've been in the cameras apart. And like, that's all great and everything, but like, I, uh, and I know you've got to do your gay stripes and you've got to learn. And, and that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm dedicating my time to learning as much as I can about like, you know, lighting, shots, cameras, um, just everything, really. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing it. Um, but I, I guess, like, what I'm finding hard, especially like at the moment, is you know, the it's the like the work-life balance, um, and obviously, like, I'm sort of trying to freelance at the moment um, and like you know I'm chasing my tail like I don't want to force things I don't want to make things uh, you know I, I, I don't want to be desperate in a way but at the same time like it's hard to not think about work all the time when you're trying to you know you got a I've got a daughter I've got to su support her and I'm you know so it yeah, that's something that I'm sort of figuring out as a filmmaker. Uh, and, I, and I think we can put too much pressure on the outcome sometimes. And I mean, I say, I, I can't speak for anyone else but myself. So uh, excuse me if I sound like I'm talking about other people or, you know, I'm not. <laughs> I'm really, I mean me. Um, uh, and I'm realizing that like, yeah, I have to not put too much pressure on myself. And I think it's sort of like an oxymoron, really. Um, 
it is a like like if you like fixate on something too much to the point where you're driving yourself up the wall and like, that rubs off on other people and it also like you, you're not you're not gonna have any um any bandwidth in your brain you know so like you're not gonna be able to have space for creativity if you're like too rigid so uh, it's something i'm sort of like working with um, and like thinking about and also like allowing yourself to make to be bad like that was something that like still holds me back and i'm like breaking through that um is like the idea that like I, I, for a long time i just wouldn't do anything because i was too afraid of it my work being bad or like not getting the technicalities right and and then you go on YouTube and then you're like, what listen? You're like, oh, I've got to get exactly like, you know, I've got to make sure I expose in this way on the Sony FX3 because otherwise this is what, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or um, you know, when I had a black magic, oh, like, I have, I have to make sure that I'm, you know, not getting any noise in my clip, in my video. And but like that will just drive you mad. Like it drives me mad. Like at the end of the day, end of the day like, if you're producing images that uh, you are happy with and that you feel are like up to standards, like, and other people also feel like, then like, you can forget about how many dynamics, stops of dynamic, ah, sorry, stops of dynamic range your camera has. Like just, just like that stuff, like we can fixate on it too much. And I know this is like a popular thing at the moment, but I've been victim to, to it like obsessing about gear spending i spent too much money on things often by going on youtube and thinking oh this you know this is what i need and like da -da 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 -da. And, and you buy it because like, you, you know it's going to make everything better but like really like it's not like it's not like it, it's about like what you do with your tools and and i do think that like equipment is necessary to be able to make things that you want to make but I also think that you that like it's like a balance it's like a tightrope balance on a tightrope like you can lean too far either way and like you know you can hinder yourself by thinking that you haven't got enough just as much as you can hinder yourself by not having enough and I think it's working that out as a, like this is what I'm sort of trying to do um and just taking your time you know like don't like this is what I'm yeah, like I, I just I made a video uh, slow down, so a nice little family video. <laughs> it was like you know I didn't plan it. I was just filming like my family, and then I just made up a little like to wrote a little script on the spot and just did a voiceover. But um, I'll yeah, like click on it above here, and you can watch that. And it's sort of something I've been uh, meditating on at the moment. But um, yeah. I hope you have enjoyed listening to me. <laughs> if not, that's fine as well. Like, um, I do want to grow as uh, my YouTube, and like, I also want to connect with like sort of more experienced filmmakers out there, uh, and just get to know like people in the in the space because. You know, I've been lurking around in the shadows for a while, uh, like watching people and um, and like you know, some so like I think I'm sort of ready to come out of my little shell and uh, you know, build a bit of a presence um, because I want to grow, you know, as a creator and um, yeah, I'm currently shooting on an FX3. Oh, everyone's been posting videos of red Komodo X's and I've been getting serious gas. Like, um, who's the guy? Uh, um, I'm gonna cut this bit. Hmm. Is it uh, Kofi Yeboa? Um, Forgive me if I've mispronounced your name, Kofi, but, and if you manage to see this, then that'd be great, thanks. But like, I know you've been in like an avid Sony user for a long time and I'm watching you, uh, I've been watching your stuff and like, I, I think your work's really cool. And um, 
but you've recently you <laughs> you're making me want a red komodo <laughs> but i know right now i mean who knows eh like it's a it's a funny one um but like yeah like i, I like you know that's just one person i'm sort of name dropping um and uh, it's funny because I've just made a video about like using the equipment in one like have and now I'm already thinking about you know having a red Komodo and da -da -da. but like really like it's just been I'm a, I, I, I'm, I'm realizing I have to watch that part like watch that and you know realize see it for what it is like we all want new toys we all want like um you know we, we want the excitement and we want to make great art like and um i just realized i've been watching my monitor instead of looking into the but i'm going to continue anyway because it's not about perfection like imperfection is perfection that's why i'm yeah but um but like yeah um in other words just try and enjoy what you have. Try and enjoy, like, use the equipment you've got. And don't, like, I think, don't get too hung up on technicalities because it can just, like, send you into a um, pit of despair. <laughs> right, uh, I'm gonna do the classic YouTube thing. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe that was terrible but like it would be cool if i could grow this channel um you know for the same reason that everyone else wants to grow their channel let's be honest like it'd be great to be like you know a filmmaker and then have youtube and not have to stress about like you know your full-time like getting a full-time job and not being you know like you know the drill right so like i'm gonna just spend time you know doing this as well and Hopefully connecting with more of you. So, thanks. Bye.